All right, yo. So I got the Marmot 45 degree, 45 degree um, flip up sights mounted. Came with the Allen wrench. Let me go ahead and give you a rundown on them. Um, so here they are. The things I like about it. First off, budget cost twenty six bucks on um, Amazon. Two, they seem well made, even though they came from China. It's not like they're made out of aluminum. Don't seem like they'll uh, come off. And three, you really have to press down to get them to pop up. Boom. Boom. Uh, you can adjust each one. I think this one right here is for wind, each the other one's for elevation. You can adjust them. You can also flip it up, small peep sight or the larger one. Uh, but like I said, budget friendly, twenty six bucks, well made, and you have to close. You have to uh, squeeze as well to uh, close them, which I really like that. And as you can see, they're not hitting anything. They're not touching anything. Even when you flip it down like that there. Came on pretty flush. So far, the very nice sights. What else can I tell you about them? Uh, hmm. Well, so far, I ain't seen nothing bad about them. The only thing I don't like is how this is not sitting flush, which it could be my fault. I'm thinking it is. I'll change it if I want to. But they're on pretty good. I don't sound they're bumping around. But like I said, I like how it's real sturdy and you can press the buttons to get them to flip up. Because I have some um, Magpul standard flip up sights right here. And I got a, a red dot in the center of them. And I'm telling you why, they'll jump up when they want to sometimes. And they cost a whole lot more than 26 bucks. But I'll be doing a video later. Hopefully my old lady will record me. I'll let you know what I think about these things. So far it's going good. Uh, I think that's about it. I put some uh links in the description below. I uh seen the links for these um these uh marmot sites and uh, the video when I'm shooting it later. I um I put the link in. I put a link in the uh, later video for the rifle, the sites, the magazines, and the place where I bought the gun from. Other than that, y'all, stay tuned for the next vid.